Mel Jardin, a place of growing terror and death, as one by one its unwilling guests are murdered through Erica Desmond. They turn from the dead only to bring evil and destruction to the island and to her husband, the accursed John Paul. It is difficult for me to speak to you. We have suffered through so much. There has been another accident on this island. Accident? Tim is dead. No! You mean murdered! Of all those who came to this island, you are the three survivors. Jean-Paul, you have got to stop this! No matter who the guilty person is, I think we all know who she is. It can't be Erica. Jean-Paul, we know her better than the others. But it can't be! Does it matter now? I want you all to leave. Leave Mel Jardin now. Go away, the three of you. Before it's too late. to face whatever inhuman thing it is that takes lives one after the other. Holly, I want you to go. Why? I thought you cared for me, you and Erica. You were like a father and mother to me. If I were your daughter, I'd stay with you. Not if I ordered you to go. Holly, Jean-Paul is right. You mustn't stay. You must leave with your mother. And thank God you're free to leave. What about you? Erica's my sister. Jean-Paul, you can't ask me to go without her. She's sick. She needs help. You and I can take her to the mainland. We can get her to a hospital where she can get treatment. Erica will not leave this island. Well, then we can force her, sedate her. I will not allow her to leave. What are you saying? She's ill. I thought you said you loved her. I love her. She will be with me here, always, on Maljardin. Now I want you to leave, all of you. And don't ask me any more questions. Just get packed and go. Now you do as he says. Elizabeth, you're her mother. You see that she leaves. I said I'm your mother. After what you said, I wonder. No, I didn't mean to hurt you. I think we've both been trying to make up for how we've treated each other in the past. But I'll tell you this, Mother. If you make me leave Erica and Jean-Paul, I'll never forgive you. Never! Peter will have the boat ready as soon as the tide is right tonight. Do as the master tells you. Leave this island before you and your daughter join the dead. You should never have said that. You have no right. Haven't I, my darling? And don't you pretend to love me. Not after what you've done. I've given up pretending. I don't understand. How could you tell them they're free to go when you know if anyone leaves Maljardin, I'll be gone too, back into darkness, to my death. Perhaps that's why I asked them to leave, my darling. Oh no, Jean-Paul. You could never be that cruel. No matter what I am, you love me. You're too good. Perhaps it's time I played the devil's game. Are you Jack? 
Tell me. Because you're not the Jean-Paul I know. Tell me. Are you Jacques? I am myself, Erica, Jean-Paul. The man you said you loved. And I do love you. Why can't you believe that? I've always loved you. I love you. No matter what the ghosts of the devil makes me do, I need you, Jean-Paul. But not the others. I chose you. I loved you. I brought you back from the dead because I wanted you so much. And I came to you? As the devil's whore. Don't say that, Jean-Paul. My dear wife. An evil imitation of my dear departed wife. No. No! Do what you must with me now. We are commanded by an evil, so it doesn't matter what we become, either of us. But leave those people alone. But I need the soul of that girl. Or else... Or else I die. My dear, should I really care? Check everything carefully, Keto. You leave with the tide tonight. Nothing must interfere this time, Keto. Do you hear me? Nothing. By whatever power is left in me, I swear that we shall set the others free. We shall remain here until that woman is back in hell. Jacques, we haven't much time. You've got to help me. My dear, should I really care? <laughs> Don't you understand? They're leaving the three women, and I have no control over Jacques anymore. He, he hates me. How strange. What a strange reaction to a desirable woman. If I'm to live, if you're to keep your bargain, you've got to stop them. They're leaving in the boat at sundown. You must help me. You must. I will help. I will help you. <laughs> You should read those. I don't want to. Bringing life back to the dead is in the past for us, isn't it? Uh, well, what, what are you doing? Packing your things. You won't be here to use them, will you? I can't leave. Not yet. I'm sorry, Alison. Jumpo, please listen to me. These notes on the experiment. This method of restoring life contains a warning. Alison, I need no further warning. I should never have brought her back. Her past is buried. But I did love her, Alison. I know you did. And that's why I want to help you. And Erica. Jean-Paul, please listen. These notes about restoring life say that sometimes certain biochemical changes can occur that upset the personality. Well, if this is true, then Erica can be helped. Erica can never be helped. Well, I believe she can. She was not restored to life through biochemistry. She was brought back to me by the devil. And you really believe that? Yes. Now, you have no choice, Alison. Leave this island. I won't desert her. I promise you that. She was my Erica. Once. And she and I will live on Maljardin for the rest of our lives. No matter what happens, I'll be with her. Jean-Paul. Our fate is our own, Alison. I will not have anyone else suffer. I don't believe in your fates. We control our own lives. I want to help you and Erica. Someday maybe you'll learn, Alison. 
Fate pursues us everywhere. If one is to die, one dies. No one can change that. Just as love lasts only as long as it is fated to last. Now, prepare yourself to leave. Pack whatever you want to pack and go. But for heaven's sakes, leave because your fate may be changed as well. I don't believe that Erica will harm me. Erica is not in control here. Evil is. What is Madame doing here? I'm in search of a wine. A farewell toast for our departing friends. Would Madame like a candle to light her way? No, put it out. Take it away. So long as I know the source of your fears, do not underestimate my powers. Take it away, Roxo, oh, please. I'll be your friend. Anything. No. I do not make friends with Satan. If you threaten me again, you crow. You'll find yourself with your slimy, crawling gods in hell! Keto! Keto! You must guard the girl, Holly. Well, every moment she is in danger until the moment she leaves this island. My sister. Erica. Yes, darling. You are my sister. And I love you so. You do believe that, don't you? Of course I believe it. Oh, don't be sad. Things will work out for you and me. You can help me. I want to help you. Good. Then you shall. Holly must not leave the island. But why? Do you want me to live? Of course I do. I want you to live and get well. Then that is my need. Holly. I, I, I don't understand. You know, Holly's a young girl. She has to leave the island. She has her own life. And I must live too. If Holly leaves Maljardin, then I'll die. Oh, Erica, you're talking nonsense. I am not talking nonsense. I'm speaking of facts. If Holly leaves, then I'll return to darkness. I'll be nothing. You're haunted by things that don't exist. By demons and darkness. Like a little frightened child. Erica, these research notes here... I don't want your notes! Or your science! Or your medicine! I'm talking about things that are real! Erica! Let me tell you what I've had to do in order to take possession of Holly. No. Oh. Her youth and her spirit. No, I, I don't want to hear. In order to protect my life, I've had to kill. No. Kill. No. Dan, drowned. <gasps> Matt, pushed off the roof of Maljardin. And Tim, who wanted to live no. so badly because he loved. I had to have him murdered by a compatriot. No. No, Erica, don't say any more. You're ill. Can't you see that? And Angie? whom I strangled when I was a spirit, evolving, struggling to get back to my body. Have you ever been trapped in the body of an animal? Oh. A black rabbit? Look at me. If these things aren't true, then how do I know about them? Look at me, my sister, and realize I am not insane. I am totally, hopelessly evil. <laughs> I could find my way back to goodness. With Jean Paul together, we might escape our fate. Jean Paul says that you can't escape your fate. 
Jean-Paul is a credulous child. He's believed everything I've told him since I've come back. I thought you loved him. He can help me, as you can help me. There's only one way I can help you. By reading these notes and getting you to the mainland, to a hospital. If I go to the mainland, I'll die. Forget these notes. Tear them out and destroy them. Stop, stop. Down from the wind, I don't care. Leave with the others. Let me remember you always as the dear, devoted sister that wouldn't help me cease to murder. I hate you. I hate you, Allison. But I can't hurt you. Ever. Kiro, thank you for being with me. I had to take one look at the island before I left. Flowers are all gone. Why? Can you tell me why, Kito? It's almost time to leave. I miss you. I've packed everything. Kito, the rest of my luggage is in my room. Would you get it for me? Kito? He won't leave my side. He stays by me every second. And will you go with him, darling? You are going with me. If Jean-Paul says I must. That's what he says. Almost sunset. Yes, it is. Almost time to go. Jean Paul, I want to thank you for. for releasing us. Yes. You know, Elizabeth, I. I never intended any harm to any one of you. I do care for Holly, you know that. So do I. Do you believe me? I know that I've been difficult in the past. The past is over. Yes. Allison, you're not ready. I know. Jean-Paul, I want to stay, if you want me to. Were you talking to Erica? Yes. And? And she said that if any of us leave, she'll die. There are things that happen here that are more mysterious than any of you realize. Well, what are they? Tell me so I can do something. There's nothing you can do about it. But she's my sister. Are you sure? Or is she just a shadow? Nothing more. Oh, really, Jean-Paul? Now look at me, everyone. Do I seem to you like a shadow? <laughs> I'm here, my darling, and I'm very real. You see the kind of man you're leaving me with? Moody. Loving me one minute and then the next. <laughs> Come with me. I've just prepared a farewell dinner. I don't think I want to. A glass of wine. A farewell toast. Oh, really, Elizabeth? I know I haven't been the best of hostesses always, but I've tried. Well, where's Holly? She must have a drink with us. Holly is... Here I am. Erica, I don't want to leave you. You know that. Jean-Paul says I must. Shall we drink that farewell toast? Keto, you may go. Keto? I have asked Keto to stay with Miss Holly. 
Very well, then. You may stay. Now we'll drink happiness to each one of you. I'll pour the wine. No, my darling, I'll pour. Elizabeth? For you? Thank you. Jean-Paul? For you. Ladies first. Oh, no. You are the master. And the host. I know. Keto will have the boat ready. I sure. This is all that is this. And this is for Holly. Our little angel. And for Alison. happiness and to our fate no Allison <laughs>